higher level, today we'll try to understand how TF-IDF, that is term frequency and inverse document frequency algorithm can be used to uh, convert textual data into some numerical vectors or numerical data so that this can be fed into machine learning models as really can't feed in text data directly. So what does TF-IDF stands for? So first of all, we need to understand that TF-IDF calculates a single floating number for each word present in the vocabulary. What is a vocabulary? So vocabulary is a total number of unique, total unique words present in the training data set that we wish to train. So eventually for each unique word uh, present in the vocabulary, we will be calculating a floating number uh, that depicts the importance of that word in the entire document and the entire training set. Uh, so uh, first, first of all, let's understand how the formula works. So we would be uh, uh, TF-IDF is equal to term frequency of X into inverse document frequency of x. So first we will calculate what is term frequency. So term frequency is nothing but frequency of word x in a sentence s upon total sentence, total tokens and sentences. And idf equals to log of total sentences upon total sentences with word x. So and the final equation becomes tf of x into idf of x. So let's look at into an example and understand how it works. Uh, assume that we have a sentence, uh, we have this particular two sentences coming in. He is a good boy, but he is naughty. That girl is a, a good basketball player. Uh, so first of all, uh, what we will be doing is that we will be creating our vocabulary. So you can see that uh, our vocabulary constitutes of 10 words again. And each one has been assigned a unique uh, index number from 0 to 9. Now eventually let's assume uh, how TFID would be calculated for word is. So uh, uh, in the sentence, he is a good boy, but he is naughty. So what would happen is that uh, first of all, we will consider that a term frequency. The term frequency equals to total occurrence of the word upon total tokens in the word. So the total occurrence of is is two. Uh, he is and he is here as well. Upon nine, because there are to uh, total nine tokens present uh, in the sentence. Now total eight, sorry, uh, eight tokens present the in the first sentence. So two upon eight into log of total sentences that is two again we have two sentences in the training set upon total sentences in which uh, the word is present so if you can see that is is present in both the words so it's two upon two so two upon eight into log of two upon two that is log of one now log of one is equals to zero hence the term for uh, tf id value for is equal uh, for is equals to zero 